Hello everyone, my name is Jasoni and in this video I'm going to tell you how to install uh, Windows 10 on uh, Eyeball Slide i701 tablet. Now if you're wondering wh why I didn't make this video earlier or uh, why do I have this plastic sheet on this tablet, well there's a very long story behind it which I will tell you about uh, sometime later in the video. For now, let's take this off. And let's take this off too. So now, first of all, to install Windows 10 on this tablet or on any Windows 8.1 device, there are two ways. First is uh, you can directly update it from here if you have the op if you have that option and second option is you have to create an installation media like a usb storage or a dvd and obviously the dvd won't work on this so you will need to create a usb storage installation media for this tablet so to do that go to any browser and search for Microsoft Windows 10 Media Creator Tool or just Tool will work. So here it is. Since this tablet is 32-bit version, we are going to download the 32-bit version. You can also try to directly update it from this tool, uh, which I will show you in a moment. But that method won't work because of the lack of storage. So here it is. As you can see there are two options upgrade this PC now and create installation media for another PC. Now if you choose this upgrade this PC now it will download the Windows 10 in the background and it will try to update it later but it won't be able to update it because of like I said lack of storage. So to update this tablet you have to choose create installation media. Click on next. Click on the similar edition of Windows that you have. If you are uh, on most of this tablet and especially on this tablet, uh, the version of the Windows is Windows 8.1 single language. So select the Windows 10 home single language and select the architecture 32 bit x86. And this matter not just work for this tablet, it will work for any other Windows device that you want to update. Next. Now it will give you two options USB flash storage or ISO file. ISO file is of no use to us for this tablet. We are going to click on USB storage. It needs to be at least 3 GB. Now I am not going to download it right now because I have already downloaded it on this pen drive. Uh, actually I have it. I have already downloaded a month ago. Like I said, it's a very long story which I will tell you later. For now, let's just let me just show you what it does. If you click on next, since it doesn't have any pen drive connected to it, it says you can find a USB flash drive. If it does have a USB flash drive connected, it will just simply start downloading and creating that media tool. Now the part that comes after downloading the Windows 10 on the pen drive. Uh, close this. Connect your USB pen drive to the tablet it will open this double click on the setup 
Yes. To find the key of a tablet like this or any other laptop or desktop that you don't know the key of, just download a program like Bellarc Advisor. It will give you all the information about your tablet as well as your key. Now it's almost prepared. Now it will give you two options. You can install, download and install updates right now or you can choose to uh, uh, download and install updates later so I'm going to do it later and click on next accept and now here it says ready to install if you want to keep your files just click on install but if you don't want to keep your files click on change what to keep and choose any of these options keep personal files apps and windows settings keep personal files only and keep nothing I'm just going to choose nothing because we are going to need all the storage available on this tablet click on install it's already 2% complete as you can see uh, while it's stalling let me tell you the story of mine well last month uh, the night of 4th of August I updated it, this tablet successfully to Windows 10 and I went to sleep around 2 a.m. in the night and I was testing the Windows 10 on this tablet on my bed and I went to sleep and put this aside my pillow and put this right, put this right aside my pillow and when I woke up next morning I woke up almost half asleep and I pick it up from the bed and put it on the table and I didn't realize that I didn't put it properly on the table and when I went to connect it to the charger uh, my hand touched it slightly and it uh, fell from the table around uh, you can say almost two feet of height and it and its touch screen broke and on the next day on the 5th of August I took it to eyeballs official service center the guy told me there that it will take almost uh, 7 to 8 days and your tablet will be fully repaired and the charge will be around 700 rupees. Now this tablet doesn't have an OGS type of touch screen that one glass solution type of touch screen. This tablet has uh, those old type of touch screens in which the touch layer is on top here right here like this part is the touch screen and LCD is right below it but they are not both sandwiched or glued together so it's uh, it's good and bad both because good because the repair cost of it is very less because you don't have to replace the LCD along with it and bad because the touch screen quality isn't that great of this tablet because of that so after a week I called him and he said that the tablet uh, that we have received the part or the touch uh, or the touch panel of the tablet yet and he said it will take at least three to four days to come here so I said okay I will wait so then I called again after three four days and then he said sir there was a problem in the tablet and we have sent the tablet itself to the to indoor so I said okay now when will I receive the tablet he said sir around uh, a week so then I said besides what can I do except for waiting when uh, people tell you stuff like this shouting at them won't do any good uh, getting angry over it won't do you any good you can only d wait and do nothing so I waited and waited and after almost a month later today 3rd of September 2015 I have received this, this tablet finally and this is because like I said this uh, because this is a new touch panel that's why this uh, plastic sheet was on it and as you can see i701 touch 
and they were generous enough to give me a free screen protector with it see they applied a free a skin protector themselves now let's look at the progress your pc will start in few moments well as you can see for some reason the touch isn't working on windows 10 on this tablet and when the first time i installed windows 10 on this tablet the touch wasn't working properly then too but it was working partially but this time it isn't working at all let me see what i can do and i will come back so that didn't work because the windows 10 suddenly stopped uh, recognizing the touch screen now i'm going to pair the bluetooth mouse with it and try again you can see the mouse is now connected and this time i'm going to connect this memory card too because first time when i installed windows 10 on this tablet it asked me for an x for an extra 9 gb of free storage which i provided through this external sd card now i'm going to run the setup again and like i said it almost took them one month to give me my tablet back as a proof of that uh eyeballs uh, uh, tablet eyeball pc slide i701 physical damage touch damaged and uh, look at the date here 5th of august 2015 now compared to this uh, i have had a couple of uh, uh, service center experiences in the last two months my sony experience m4 aqua uh, also fell down from my pocket while i was taking it out and its touch screen also broke or you can say went dead so i took it to the service center there was no physical damage uh, visible on the on that screen by the way if there was that would have been out of warranty but uh, the thing was the same the touch screen the screen wasn't working and it was dead and they gave me a new phone under a week or if i remember correctly under 5 days that's the difference between the service of eyeball and sony now we will let it just install and see if if the mouse or touch work this time so as just like the last last time the touch doesn't work let's see if the mouse will work well the mouse is also not working so i guess there's no way of installing windows 10 on this tablet now see even the mouse is not working if you have this tablet you can try to win install windows 10 through this method and it will work this is the only method that will work on devices like this and if you need example uh, this is the notion ink cane 8 and i installed windows 10 on it with similar method uh, some person in the comment section said that it's not in, it's not possible to install Windows 10 on this tablet because of the lack of storage and it's kind of true but the method I've showed you is the only way that can overcome that problem and install Windows 10 on a Windows 8.1 tablet. This is the new Windows 10 start option there was there was supposed to be styles there but i have turned all of them off because they were annoying and they were using unnecessary data i must say that it is a very data hungry operating system since the touch doesn't work and also it doesn't recognize the bluetooth mouse right now it's not possible to install windows 10 on it in any way so we will have to leave it at that or we could try a one last method let me see if that will work well the keyboard is also not working it's also not connecting by the way it's not providing power to the keyboard because if the keyboard was connected these 
if I turn the caps lock on, uh, this light must have been glowing, but it's not glowing. So that means it is not recognizing the tablet, oh sorry, the keyboard and not providing power to the keyboard. If you also get stuck at this point by the way and don't know how to go back, just press these two buttons together, the volume down and the power button together. First it will turn off the tablet and then it will say this please wait. Then it will give you this and this is you can also say the recovery area of Windows 8.1 and it will give you all these options exit and continue to Windows 8.1 troubleshoot turn off your PC use another operating system use a device or just continue to the Windows 8.1 and it will take you back to your old Windows 8.1 installation so unfortunately we weren't able to install the Windows 10 on this eyeball slide i701 but the method is remains the same so if you want to install windows 10 on any device like this a tablet or any of your laptop or desktop you can follow that method and it will install windows 10 on your device and uh, that's all i have for this video and if this video helped you please give a like and subscribe to my channel automatic and also thanks for watching